NBC teased that Bonnie's comeback would continue to make waves. Bonnie had to inform Justin that she was not his dead wife, Adrian. For the leak, for the week of July 13th to the 17th, Bonnie will have to share the same news with a confused Jack DeVroe. However, things may not be exactly as they appear. Could Bonnie really be Adrian? Let's take a look at some of the big clues and try to solve this potential mystery. To begin with, we want to mention a scenario similar to this evidence that is possible. When Adrian Zucker returned to Days of Our Lives in 2019, NBC had insisted that Nicole Walker was dead. Days later revealed a twist. It was Kristen pretending to be Nicole in a mask. Nicole really didn't really return at the time, though NBC earlier said the opposite. At the time, Zucker had a rather confusing conversation with Soap Opera Digest in hopes of keeping the surprise. Zucker talked about his character somewhere somewhere else and said that right now there are other vulnerable aspects to her. She was clearly talking about Nicole being in a different location. And the second part could mention Kirsten, Kristen being Nicole's imposter. NBC, Bonnie's true death. Adrian lived with Bonnie's memories. Shocking shock revealed. Now let's see what Judy Evans said about Bonnie's comeback in SOD. Evans mentioned not wanting to give too much and suggested that this comeback bring more difficulties than usual. The NBC star hinted that the situation became back she came back to made it even more difficult. Evans continues to discuss how Bonnie will change throughout the story. There are lots of old Bonnie still out there, Mr. Evans said. She still has a long way to go to be a redeemer, but there is also a journey for her. Perhaps all the Bonnie spoilers are as misleading as Nicole spoilers. This may be a setting for another shocker. Is Bonnie really the one who died? Has someone implanted Bonnie's memory into Adrian? Perhaps there is a switch at Days of Our Lives will disclose down the road. Steve was converted into Stefano via microchip. Hope comes, Hope becomes Princess Gina von Amberg through a chip. Recently, there was also a talk about how Stefan could be created to believe that he was a completely different person. The Vandals today say Jake is an identical twin brother to Stefan, perhaps, but perhaps all that is referring to another Salemite, who is believed to believe she is someone else, namely Adrian. In the cemetery, Bonnie babbled on and on about supercars. She emphasized that no matter what happens, they always end up together. It seemed like a giant suggestion that Justin and Adrian would eventually reunite. Seriously, could that suggestion be bigger? Many Days fans have noticed that Bonnie looks a bit different this time. There's something bad about her. It's almost felt like another weird version of Bonnie instead of the real deal. What if Evans' journey was one of self-sacrifice? Bonnie may not recognize her as Adrian right now, but that bomb may eventually fall. Perhaps then Bonnie had grown enough to step aside for the sake of Adrian. Bonnie may be willing to remove her chip so that Adrian can reclaim her life, which means a real death for Bonnie. This memory-changing tool can get tricky, so we'll recap what we mean here. Let's say Bonnie was swapped for Adrian, maybe even after the hospital accident. Perhaps Bonnie was dead and Adrian's loved one said goodbye. Meanwhile, Adrian can actually become Bonnie through a microchip for some soap reason. If that's not where this story is headed, what is Bonnie's return point? To promote a book and image about Lucas Horton? We will not buy everything that is in Bonnie's return. There must be a deeper story here, and that story may be related to Adrian's return from the dead.